In this video, we are going to see fake emulsification by stop and chop technique. This is a cataract with grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision at mid limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now, 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber. The SPMC is applied over the cornea for better visibility and then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half to three clock hours away. We can see some oozing of blood and this is good. Healing becomes good if there is a bit of bleeding. Capsulorexis is done with the help of a iterator forceps. And now, hydro dissection, 27 gauss cannula and BSS is used for hydro dissection. And now, some more visco and this is the time to introduce the phaco needle in the anterior chamber. The phaco needle goes in with its bevel down. With irrigation on, the phaco needle goes in. Some superficial lens matter is removed. And now sculpting is started. At this time, vacuum is very minimum. 60 millimeter of mercury to 80 millimeter of mercury. We must sculpt and then go forward. We must not push the nucleus. In such soft cataracts, if we sculpt at the central part, we can easily divide the nucleus into two halves. No need to sculpt at the periphery. And now, each hemineucleus is held with very small amount of vacuum because if we apply high vacuum, the lens matter will get aspirated, will not be able to hold. So, hold with very little vacuum and cut the piece into two pieces and emulsify the nucleus, nuclear fragments. Some epinuclear material removed and now there is lot of cortex in this case. In this cases, we can use a 22 gauze Simco. I'm trying to remove the cortex with the Simco cannula, but since there is lot of cortex, it's taking time. But beginners have all the time in their hand. They can take even 30 minutes for a kiss. But you have to be very safe. Now, how to remove the sub incisional cortex? I must inject some visco so that the endothelium is nicely protected. And in this case, since I had injected already, I have injected visco. I'm going to implant the lens now itself. Leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. And now the Simco cannula is taken 
and the sub incisional cortex is removed. Some cells are still there sticking to the posterior capsule that has to be removed. So, polishing of the posterior capsule has to be done. I am taking the irrigating cannula of bimanual IA going behind the IOL and polishing the posterior capsule by the irrigating jet of fluid. irrigation and aspiration is carried out to remove all the visco because we do not want visco induced raised intraocular pressure. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed, corneal stroma is hydrated with bases and the side port gets closed. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Intraocular pressure should be on the higher side about 20 on or 22 millimeter of mercury. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence. Always remember that in soft cataracts, you need not sculpt the peripheral part of the lens. If you make a deep crater, at the central part, you can easily divide the nucleus into two halves.